Hi team, I, I wanted to circle back with you. Gary Cobb had asked uh, me to put together um, some tools in order for us to um, do things like um, track, uh, essentially a track assigned tasks uh, within our SharePoint environment. And um, another feature that had been requested by one of the team members is to be able to have our events calendar um, schedule uh, an email um, to be sent so many days in advance of a task and essentially wanted that to be sort of a dynamic field that, that someone could specify. Um, there's uh, specific reasons why I've separated tasks from events here that I can discuss with you guys individually or, or together if you're concerned about it or if it just bothers you. But essentially the um, the events calendar works, you know, just as it has before. You're going to go ahead and, and populate this with, um, you know, with your data. And um, what you can do is um, fill out fill out everything here. You'll go ahead and specify who the um, recipient is, and and um, the the new functionality that's been added here is the ability to schedule how many days in advance that you want. Um, this person to receive an email. Um, just note that once you hit save on this, um, th this this little application is set to uh, send an email according to how you've um, set things up within the page. Okay, so the other application deals with task assignments and um, you can see that I've created one right here and again you just populate everything and um, you know let's go ahead and edit one that I've already sent out um, Peggy should have received an email by now because I sent this out last night um, but you can see that uh, one of the things that you want to watch when you populate these things is once a task is assigned to you or you assign it to somebody else one of the things that you want to look for is that that person has gone back to this task that's been given that will be sent to them via email and they will change the status of the task. Um, there's also task categories here that Gary had requested and we can certainly um, add more if we need to do that. Um, a few other little tricks or, or just uh, functions that I want to let the team know about is um, the, abil the ability to control views. If you click on the project's task list and then you go into views, you can view just, um, well, I just want to see all of my tasks. You know, maybe you're not concerned with what everybody else's tasks are and it'll filter them based on that. Um, you can also filter based on, um, you know, active tasks. And again, it is here are the, all the active tasks. Um, you may also wish to connect this task list to um, Outlook so that you don't constantly have to come back to um, the SharePoint site to see if those assigned tasks are be, being carried out by the members whom those uh, tasks were assigned. And once you click on Connect to Outlook, you'll see that um, you know, the task list inside of Outlook, you just click on here. Here's my personal tasks, but here's other tasks. Here's the Beaumont Works project task list, and you can. S I can this is a way for me to just a, a quick dashboard item for me to look and see. Okay, well, what's what's going on with uh, the task that was assigned to Gary? Has he started that or not? And then you can, you know, it's just uh, a way to keep track of it without having to explicitly go to SharePoint every time. So. Um, that's sort of the solution I've come up with. I can talk to you guys and you know maybe next week sometime if there's some other features that you'd like to see added or if you want to see something changed. Again, I've, I've set I've set the site up um, as I have for um, um, for a specific reason. So if there's something that I can change and we can work with, I'll certainly do what I can to make sure that uh, we we get this um, you know up to snuff for y'all. Alright, uh, thanks for your time and uh, we will talk to you later. Bye.